Hi everybody, this is Travis Taylor from Capital City Nissan in Topeka, Kansas, also known as the Salsa Robot. Today I want to show you a 2022 Nissan Titan SV 4x4. So here we go, this is the truck right here, Nissan Titan in the deep blue pearl paint. I want to show you right under the hood here right away, you got the 400 horsepower V8, like 413 foot-pounds of torque with a nine-speed automatic transmission. Battery right up front here when you're jump-starting those Tundras. Washer fluid right there. Power steering fluid there. Antifreeze right there. Coolant. Uh, your brake fluid right there. Big air box right there with your air filter. Pull on back and let you see the front of this thing. You got a Nice black grill on there, that Nissan V-Motion design. Tell you, the one thing I like about the Nissan Titan that I've noticed about all the trucks out on the market, I do a lot of work around my house. These tow hooks are open on the side, so you don't have to get a D-ring to put through that hook to put a, a tow strap on. I can put the loop of a tow strap right through there, hook onto a tree or a log or something and drag it out to cut it up for firewood. Got those nice aluminum alloy wheels. Nice center cap there. Look for a size here, looks like those are an 18 inch wheel. Got these step bars on the side, make it easier to get in and out of. I'm gonna open this door up here, show you the view of the interior from here. Go to this back door. Plenty of leg room in these Titans. This here's already got the seat up. I'll show you this while this seat's up. You got a hook right here. You got one on the other side as well. You can stick your grocery bags through there to keep your groceries from flying all over. Got this release here that puts the seat right back down. It's real easy to get up. I just grab it and pull right there. Something I haven't touched on in some of my other videos, I guess I could show you right here. This has the latch system. So if you got a car seat, those anchors hook right here if you got little kids with you keeps them nice and safe while I'm back here I'll show you this also folds down you've got two cup holders there in the door you got bottle holders or cup holders there you got two on the other side as well that gives you room for six drinks in the back seat and only three people can sit back here so everybody can have two drinks sliding rear window right there Go to the back. This one here doesn't have a bed liner. We can get that installed for you if you like. Go back around here. It's got the, I don't know if you want to call them rock guards or mud flaps, but they're right there. That's nice. Keeps you from getting a bunch of rock chips down here and rusting out your bed. Back around, you got painted to match bumper instead of chrome bumper. You've got a receiver hitch there. You got your trailer wiring hookups right there. Show you this right here. Look at that. Look at it going down still. Doesn't just slam down. Easy to just throw right up. Back in the bed, you got the built-in tie-down hooks there. This is cool, I'm short. I have a hard time climbing up in the bed of a truck right on the bumper here. You can push down. You got a step right there. And that tucks right back up under the bed. Pull out so you can get a view of this truck as I'm going around it. Now we're gonna jump inside here. Right inside, bottle holders, cup holders right there in the door. Got one folded down right there. That folds up in there. And 
right here in the middle you got a fold down console there plus the other side so by my math that's uh eight cup holders in the front seat six in the back that's 14 cup holders in a truck that'll seat six people pretty awesome inside here uh as your normal your power windows locks power mirrors you've got your headlight controls there i like to keep them on auto all the time reaching over here i got push button start dial shift for the four-wheel drive very simple shift on the fly four-wheel drive you can shift into four-wheel high at like 60 miles an hour or up to 60 miles an hour got this console here in the middle check out in here you got i gotta turn my body here room to stick business cards or something there you got room enough you can pop these dividers out even these will come out and move around however you need them you can shut that you can fold it straight up and you got room for another person to ride right here also under this seat a little bit of storage right there you want to get this to fold back down you just pull this release here it's hard to do with one hand and filming but there you go that folds right down show you right here here's that cup holder i showed earlier folds up out of the way charging point ports there you got something right there 12 volt right there real simple air conditioning heating controls nice big screen here really nice backup camera you got that center line there to help you line up if you're backing up to a trailer hitch that'll help you center your hitch right on top of the shifter here you got your tow haul mode you got a manual shift mode right here if you want to do that you got different screens on the dash oh looks like i need to go get the front tire looked at that'll give my service department something to do today they can take a look at that for us you can move with this button here on the steering wheel arrows go to the different screens i want to go back to that i like that you got a digital speedometer and an analog speedometer along with your analog tack this is the off-road screen this is pretty cool here i'm gonna pass my phone through the wheel look at that shows you torque split your different steering angles and roll angles didn't have that on the older trucks you know these new trucks are pretty crazy got some more gauges here you can flip through the screens you can set everything up to different screens that you want in here to display along here i also have volume control for my radio and bluetooth phone setup over here on the cruise control i've also got intelligent cruise on this so i can set the distance to the vehicle in front of me so if they slow down the truck will automatically slow down they come to a stop the truck's going to start stopping itself forgot down here to point out traction control parking sensors uh, all around around the vehicle all the sensors on and off uh, you will want to pop that button off if you got a trailer hooked on because it'll keep squawking at you and making noise at you to let you know you got something behind you well everybody that's the 2022 nissan titan sv 4x4 in deep blue pearl metallic uh any questions you got about this vehicle please feel free to call me and contact me at capital city nissan in topeka kansas my name is Travis Taylor, also known as the Salsa Robot on YouTube. Please click on the subscribe and uh, throw me some likes. That really helps out. I'll keep making some more videos for you guys. Everybody have a good day.